Welcome to our channel. We are the Piano Solutions XXI, Piano Restoration for the 21st Century. Here's our workshop. We do restorations here, and for today we got a project. We replace damper felts on the damper heads. Before, we have to prep our set of the damper heads. And as you see, it's done already. It's, uh, this is around uh, 67 damper heads, been refinished and all the wires been cleaned and if necessary we bought them. Now uh, we have to uh, prep the damper pads that we glue them on the damper heads. And this is a little bit sensitive issue because the felt is affected by the moisture, affected by the temperature uh, and as you see uh, we're working in a, a different environment. Uh, that's all affect your uh, ability to investigate how the pads are working actually on the strings. And honestly, uh, there is no uh, steady theory that you can uh, consistently uh, do your work. It's just with the experience, with the multiple tests, you can get to this uh, some uh, kind of acceptable uh, design. Uh, as you see here, uh, during uh, this restoration, uh, you can use different patterns based on, uh, again, your experience. Uh, some of the pads can be the same when you use uh, already pre-cut felt, or you can use different sizes, so maybe several of them. And as you see, uh, different pads, they create different pressure on the strings. Besides this, uh, we got a different position of the pads on the vibrating strings. It means here it's harder to mute the string than on the, far from the air graphs. That's uh, basically show you the complexity of this process. And uh, the best way, of course, to rely on some existing thing and, of course, uh, your own experience. But now I want to show you uh, the design the century is old. It's a Stanway uh, damper head. That's how uh, the technician at that time, probably early 1900s, he put the smaller pads and uh, the long pads on this single bass string and it works perfect. Uh, of course, we have to admit that maybe quality was different that time, but nevertheless, he figured out that one of them longer than another one. That's what we're gonna do in our case, because we consider that's one of the best design. Uh, in order to do it, uh, you have to cut them by yourself. And uh, in order to cut them nicely, you need a tool. And the one of them we wanna show you today and um, of course when you work on any tool in any just like uh, restoration projects glue the hammer heads or just reboot the things you want to just your place nice and uh, one of the most important thing is the light and uh, in our case we have it four different lights led that eliminate uh, the shades on uh, your tools. It makes you work really comfortable and nice. And now we just like turn them on and you will see that this creates it's a nice picture. It's uh, very good for uh, producing good quality. Now let's say we wanna duplicate this pad, right? And uh, on the Stanway B that we're working, it's eight pieces of this and these eight pieces of that uh, size. Uh, if we measure this size, like using whatever, right, ruler, we notice that it's uh, half an inch, and this one is gonna be seven, eight. Okay, once we know it, we can use our already scale. We just put in the half, right, here, like that, and uh, we're using this strip, for the singles and we need eight pieces. Now first we cut a small one because it's a square, right? Originally we need the first one 
just angled because the actual damper is angled like that, right? And we do it in the same way, it so looks nice. Now, once it's done, we can uh, cut eight pieces the same size. Look, as you see, we do it easy, like this. Eight, eight pieces of this one. Similarly, we uh, can cut another piece like this. As you see, it's a pretty simple uh, device. It's just going up and down, up and down. On the end of our, whatever it's called, uh, metal bar, we just attach a razor blade. This razor blade is uh, the sharpest on the market and it's pretty durable. Let's give you a really nice cut. Uh, we got a return spring here and the handle. Uh, you can build this tool for several hours. The only thing I have to admit that if you want to make it nice, then it takes you probably several days. Uh, for us, it's very important to make our tool beautiful. And we just like uh, want to show you that uh, this technology that helps you in your restoration. We show you how this tool works and it works perfect, fast, consistent, and you might want to have one built by yourself, since it's a very simple tool. My suggestion, make it look nice. Maybe not these colors, maybe not these shapes, but make it look beautiful. Every time you work on these tools, it's going to feel like it's holiday, and it's put you on the mood to love these skills, as we know you love it already but it's make it more beautiful, more uh, passion in your work. That's my suggestion and I hope you follow it. You'll be on the right way. Thanks a lot.